Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. Today you are joining me from a small woodland uh, near where I live uh, called Foxborough Wood. And this uh, woodland area is quite unique uh, because it has a lot of, uh, a lot of acorns in the uh, forest floor. So hopefully today we can find some queen ants and hopefully some acorn ant colonies. Hi guys, so before we start our um, our little ant hunting journey, I thought I'd show you uh, what I'm taking with me today. In terms of ant catching stuff, so I've just got this simple container here. Inside, just like a uh, generic smaller container. Got a couple of test tubes, cotton buds, a pair of tweezers if needed, uh, and these little vials here. So if I do find an acorn ant colony, I will be placing the acorn in these. So uh, yeah, hopefully I've got enough stuff. And then other, other stuff I've got in here, I've got a uh, DJI uh, action cam. I've got a uh, drone to get some nice, uh, nice shots of the forest. And I've got the regular um, Canon camera there. All right, let's uh, crack on and see what we can find. I think we're gonna start by heading to the upper part of the forest because uh, that's where most of the acorns are. Okay, we've just found our first few acorns uh, just here. So there's one. Got two there, three there. So we kind of need to crack these open and see if we can find a colony. Normally you'll see a an opening uh, in the uh, the actual nut itself uh, where the ant colony will be going in and out of their small nest. So that one doesn't have any, uh, neither does that. And you kind of need to brush all the dirt off uh, because the colony will tend to block up the hole with dirt. So if you rub everything, everything off, you can kind of see if they've done that. So guys, I've gone through about um, 10 or 15 acorns. Uh, and this is the first one where I've actually seen some uh, some life inside it. So in there, we've got a, a lava. Now it's not an ant lava, but um, I think it's the lava of a ghoul wasp or some kind of wasp. Uh, which has planted an egg inside and the uh, lava's grown and eaten eaten parts of the uh, the nut itself. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep looking and uh, check through all these acorns here. Hopefully we, fi we find a colony. I have cracked open another, another uh, acorn here and in there, I don't know if you can see that, there's little tiny lava little maggots there's one actually crawling my hand there which is uh not very nice i guess but uh yeah still no ants well it turns out i'm not actually having much luck guys um <laughs> i must have kind of picked open about i don't know 30 or 40 uh acorns that you can kind of tell from my Thinkers here that yeah it's uh it's not going well i'm gonna keep trying uh in this area um and if i open about, about a 20 more and i don't find anything i'm gonna move on to the uh the other parts of the forest to see if i get any more luck 
Well, it actually seems like I've got some competition over here. I don't know if you can actually see that. Oh, he's running. Oh no, he's going that way. Got some competition. Squirrel stealing, stealing the nuts. Oh, there's so many in this forest. It's just because there's an abundance of, of acorns. Oh, let's keep looking. So guys, after checking through about 50 acorns, I didn't find a single colony. I must have found about 25 lava. <laughs> Loads of lava, um, but no ant colonies. Uh, I'm gonna change uh, like my looking location. I'm gonna try and look somewhere else to see if I have any more luck. So guys, a bit of an update. Um, I've been looking around for a few hours now uh, and I've had no luck whatsoever. <laughs> so what I've done is I've taken a few acorns uh, where I think somebody's home, uh, who knows, and I'm gonna open them up at home. Uh, it's only cause right now um, it's approaching winter in the UK and uh, it starts to get dark pretty early and it's already, I'm already starting to lose some light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home, open these up uh, for you guys, and then come back tomorrow and see if we have any more luck uh, finding any ants. So we just got back um, from looking for some queens and colonies. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't, <sighs> didn't find anything. I guess sometimes you, um, you'll find ants and sometimes you won't. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll have some, uh, some better luck. Uh, but as mentioned before, I did bring home some uh, acorns and these are, well, these potentially have someone inside them. Whether it's ants or perhaps something else, uh, we're going to open them up and find out. And what I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to put a post on my Instagram and I'm going to ask you guys for advice and for help on how to find one of these colonies. And if you guys haven't um, followed me on Instagram yet, I'll uh, just pop that down here for you guys. All right, let's um, crack open these acorns and see, uh, see what we find inside. Okay, so... Right, uh, where to start? See, I picked these acorns up for, uh, for a reason. Um, I did a little bit of research before I went out. You're supposed to look for acorns which have these little holes inside because that essentially means that something has uh, kind of burrowed its way into the acorn. Now, some of these might uh, be well, still um, occupied by this uh, like wasp lava. If that is true, then, well, I guess that's food for our ants. There isn't much sign of life in terms of ants. I can't see any ants, but we're gonna crack them open anyway, because there might be a queen inside. So let's give it a go. So guys, we had a, uh, we had a good look through all of these acorns, but no luck finding any ants. So hopefully, when we go looking tomorrow, we'll have some more luck and hopefully we'll find a queen and a colony. So yeah, we're gonna um, give this a rest for today and I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, uh, we're back out for our second day of, uh, of kind of filming and looking for queens and colonies. Last night I posted a, a little video just on my Instagram for just basically asking for help. Uh, and, and any advice um, in terms of catching acorn ant colonies. So some of you guys replied and you basically just said, look for acorns with the little holes in uh, and look for acorns that aren't in uh, direct light uh, because of the temnothorax colonies, they don't tend to like uh, the light. So they will be under, uh, right under trees, perhaps at the stump of trees. So. I'm gonna take that advice on board and I'm gonna have a look in those areas specifically. I've also changed uh, changed up my equipment. I'm bringing along a bright LED light so I can kind of look at the ground a bit better, 
bringing a longer a long pair of tweezers so i can kind of crack open the acorns and yeah so hopefully that extra equipment does uh, give me a little uh, helping hand i'm gonna head into the forest now and see if i have any luck Hey guys, we're at the uh, the base of our first oak tree here, and uh, as you can see, there's an acorn here, acorn there. There's quite a few, quite a few acorns. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change my strategy today, and I'm actually going to get a light, my light out, and I'm going to have a look around on the floor. Um, it's quite cold today, um, so I'm not sure if any ants will be walking around, but I'm going to get my light out, and I'm going to be seeing if there if there are any uh, scattered around this area. So guys, this is the type of leaf you want to be looking for on a tree. This is a this is an oak leaf, um, and acorns are are unique to oak trees. So you kind of want to look below below oak trees. Um, I mean, I can tell you where to look and <laughs> where to find acorns, but I currently have not found a single colony. So yeah, gotta keep looking though. There we go, guys. There is a Glacius Queen. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scoop her up in there. Come on. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. And we have. I'll just dink her in. There we go. And we got her. But yeah, she looks, uh, she looks healthy, but. Uh, the only thing I would say is that she looks quite small, so she probably doesn't have a lot of body fat. Um, she might be fertilised, I'm not 100% sure. But we're going to bag her up, and I guess we'll find out. So guys, I'm sorry I didn't get this on camera, but uh, I've just I've just moved around the leaf litter. I've just found a another queen right there. Popped her on this stick here, so you can kind of uh, have a better look at her. Uh, this isn't the same queen. Uh, this is a different one. Um, she has wings as well, uh, which is pretty cool. She looks like a Laceus species, perhaps Laceus flavus. I can see it. Slightly yellow tinge to her under belly there. Um, yeah, I'm going to pop her down there, and then I'm going to grab a test tube and bag her up. Okay, I nearly lost sight of her then. Um, but if I just pop this test tube just next to her like that, just knock her in with my finger, and then slide her down like that. Lovely. Uh, just get a little bit of cotton. Try and bung this in with one hand. There you go, perfect. Lovely jubbly. So guys, I thought I would end it there. Um, unfortunately, I did not find a uh, Temnothorax colony, an acorn ant colony, but I will um, be sure to keep an eye out for these types of colonies in the future. If you guys have any advice for me, just pop it down in the comment section below. It would uh, it would help massively and it would be greatly appreciated. But just gonna end it there because um, 
just want to end it on a high really uh, just finding two queen ants but you guys take care and i will see you in the next video Thank you.